we do. And we're continuing the follow breaking news from Shorewood this afternoon. This is a uh, live look from Chopper 4 at the area around Oakland and Menlo. About an hour ago now, officers in full tactical gear started setting up about uh, three blocks north at Troywood High School and then heading to this building for what's being described as a domestic dispute. Now, we want to continue to follow this breaking news in Shorewood, and we want to show you some more video. This is now just coming in from our station, I'm hoping. But first, I've been told in my ear that we have someone on the phone, Nikolai, who is working at the Russian grocery and gift store just below where this incident is happening. Nikolai, are you on the phone? Uh, yes. Tell me, what are you hearing and seeing at this moment? Uh, well, when I was trying to get outside, I was told I have to be inside the store. It sounds safe on the street. And when I asked what happened, they said it's incident happened. Mm -hmm. No description or anything. And from what I can see, there's a SWAT car. There's a lot of police cars. There's a couple of SWAT guys standing right across the street with uh, automatic weapons and just aiming at the building. Do you know about anybody who would happen to live up on the third floor of that building, in this, which is where we're told this is going on? On third floor? Yeah. Honestly, I have no idea. But whatever it is, it's, it's pretty scary. <laughs> but you're feeling safe right now inside your building, correct? Yes, that's what we were told. Okay, and so again, we have, to stay inside. have you heard anything? Have, have you heard any loud uh, disturbances prior to coming outside? And again, seeing, uh, like you said, those officers with uh, weapons drawn. Mm, I didn't hear anything okay. from inside the store, but, uh, you know, some people were saying that they heard some shots, but I, I didn't, so I can't say. All right. Well, thank you so much for your perspective there. Again, another business owner from the ground floor of this building at uh, Oakland and Menlo, uh, where, again, law enforcement are telling people to stay inside the building. If, yes. if you're in a store, if you're in a residence in that building, you're safe to be inside there. But something kind of scary is happening on the third floor that has called out a police response of this magnitude. And now we're looking just uh, above. I think this is more of a map of the area on Oakland Avenue where this is uh, all transpiring. It's in the 3500 block of North Oakland. Mm -hmm. Officers have actually shut down traffic in both directions in that area. And we spoke with a uh, business owner earlier from Harley's, uh, Har Harley's, I believe it is, and he was saying that he was told again, like you said, you know, stay inside. We've got this going on upstairs. We will handle it. Um, and then there was another gentleman we spoke to who actually lived in that building on the second floor who believes he heard, as our reporter Keller Russell told us earlier, that he heard uh, what sounded like argument uh, between two people and things being thrown. Now, he was able to leave the building but told he could not go back in. So it really does seem right. like this situation is under control. I'm sure officers want to make sure that it ends peacefully, but to be prepared and to be more cautious, they have blocked off Oakland Avenue. As you can see, this live picture right now with an officer standing in the street, making sure that no traffic is getting um, through in that direction, as well as the staging area that is happening at Shorewood High School. And wherever the situation stands right now, it's clear police have not let their guard down just yet. Uh, Annie Scholes, who's one of our reporters on the ground in the area right now, say uh, people were being barked at over a loud loudspeaker from one of the tactical vehicles they have to get back inside the building. So again, police want to make sure that nobody is out on the streets in this area right now. But again, if you are inside your home or if you are inside your business in this area, police think you are fine right where you are. And as you can see, this is a live view from Chopper 4, and it is a distance away from the incident. Again, we don't want to give away what police are trying to do to get this situation under control. So we have backed our chopper at a distance, but you can see if if possible, you can maybe see that Shorewood High School is right there in the lower right hand corner of your screen, and that is where they're doing the staging area. I believe we do have someone on the phone who may be able to give us a better perspective of what's going on. If you could tell me your name, I, I would love to talk with you. Hi, my name is Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Sherry, where are you at in this uh, incident right now? I am actually directly next door in the building directly next door. Wow, okay, so what have you been hearing and seeing thus far? A lot of sirens, mm -hmm. uh, the helicopters above, and um, I went outside for a minute, but the officers asked us to please stay inside the building. They let us stay out there for a couple minutes. They really didn't tell us anything. They just mm -hmm. asked us to please step back inside. And I do own the laundromat there. Oh, so I was okay. trying to make sure that, you know, the customers were okay mm -hmm. and everything. And 
they were kind of curious, but they really, you know, they didn't really tell us too much, but they just wanted us to stay inside. Uh, how, many, uh, how many police officers have you seen in the area? We're just curious to gauge what kind of a re uh, response we're getting to a domestic incident in that building. We've seen a couple local, like probably Shorewood police, and then there's like a couple across the, directly across the street in a gangway with, um, I guess they could be SWAT team because they have rifles. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they've got the street block on each end with officers. So there's only one or two in front of our building, but directly across the street, like I said, there's guys with rifles. That All right, Sherry, thank you.